What is going on, my individuals? I know I look a little different today, um, and that is because it's, it's by the order of the Pinky Blinders. <laughs> All right, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a very much requested hairstyle. I've been asked to do this for over a year now, and that is the Arthur Shelby hairstyle tutorial from Peaky Blinders, which is one of my favorite shows. So before I jump into this, I would appreciate a nice big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're new and be sure to hit that notifications button so I can inform you when I drop some more content. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you three different hairstyles that Arthur Shelby is known to rock during the first few seasons of Peaky Blinders. As far as dimensions go, Arthur Shelby has a basic undercut all the way around. The sides are faded from a skin fade to a two. The top of his hair is around the same length as mine. Mine actually might be a little bit longer. Mine goes to my chin as you guys can see but it honestly doesn't matter too much if you're gonna go for this look as long as your hair is around five to seven inches on top and honestly the only real difference between our two hairstyles is simply the back my hair is actually a little bit shorter in the back his is a little bit longer and it hangs a little bit lower and just some real quick history before we jump into this back in the 20s men used to use an oil-based product called brilliantine it was a messy product and basically anything that touched it it gave off a very slimy gross, you know, residue. And it really only made your hair just glossy and soft. But thankfully, in modern times like we live in today, you know, we have a lot more hairstyling tools and products that we can use to help achieve greater and longer lasting looks. So let's go ahead and kick it off with the first hairstyle that Arthur Shelby usually rocks. And this is more of his classier vibe that he wears. And by the way, I grew up this little mustache just for this video. So I know it's a little weak, but hey, thumbs up for the cosplay. <laughs> now to get this look, you wanna start off with your hair damp and then use a pre-styler. Right here I am using the new Ocean Spray by Shavu. It's a hybridized sea salt spray that also includes heat protection. It will give you crazy volume, crazy texture, and it protects your hair at all times. Once you saturate that in your hair, go ahead and use the blow dryer and just start blow drying your hair all back. Once you're done blow drying, take your favorite hairstyling product and go ahead and apply it. As you can see, I'm using Ocean Clay by Shavu and this is gonna give my hair a long lasting hold with crazy health benefits. Next, you will want to take a comb, preferably a wide tooth comb, to prevent ripping and pulling of the hair, and comb it all back while creating an off-centered part. Comb your hair slightly to one side, and then the other side, just comb it straight back. And that's the final result for the first look. Now moving on to our second look. Now this one's really cool, uh, has a little bit more of a messier vibe. However, the only reason why I think it's messier is simply because he's out like taking guys down and like handling business and stuff. You know, he's sweating, moving around a lot, and his hair's just kind of flying everywhere. And all this just kind of causes his hair to fall. However, I'm going to use my fingers to shake things up a little bit, and then I'm also going to apply just a little bit more ocean spray to kind of replicate that, you know, sweaty, messy look. And basically all I'm doing here is just loosening things up a bit. And that's the final look of hairstyle number two. Now moving on to the last hairstyle, number three. This look is my personal favorite. However, it's not really Arthur Shelby's look, it's more so Paul Anderson's look, the actor who portrays Arthur Shelby. And uh, this is usually what he rocks when he's not filming. This one's really cool and really unique as well. As you can see here in this video clip, he's doing an interview and his hair is just kind of blowing in the wind. He doesn't really care too much if it gets a little messy. So all you're gonna wanna do is start off the hairstyle again, the same as we always did with a little bit of pre-styler and then blow dry it all back. And then once you're done with that, all you're going to want to do is add a very little product, not too much at all. You want it to be very loose to the point where it's just pretty much hanging and it's doing its own thing. Then create an off-centered part with your fingers and let the sides really hang. And the last thing you want to make sure to do is let the top be very messy and slightly finger combed to one side. And 
And that's it, you guys. Those are the three looks of today's video. Uh, let me know in the comments below which hairstyle that you liked best, or you know, you can let me know right here in the poll. Also, be sure to add your Instagram username down in the comments as well, so this way I can give you a shout out in one of my next upcoming videos. Now it is time for today's motivational video of the day. For those of you that are new, we always end off every video with something motivational, something that will inspire you to take your life to the next level. And right now we're gonna be discussing positive memory. And now this is one of the most important and crucial things that I'll probably ever talk about. And that is because it's one of the main reasons why people give up in life and one of the main reasons why they give up on their dreams. It's one of the main reasons why marriages fail. And that is because they lack positive memory. They remember the wrong things. Instead of looking at the pain that they overcame, they look at the pain itself and they don't look at the part where they conquered it and the part where they overcame it and got through it. And in marriages or relationships, a lot of the times they fail because that person, you know, they, they tend to only remember that one negative thing that that person said to them or that, that thing that really hurt them. And they tend to remember those things, those, those very few times rather than remembering and focusing on all the good things that that person said to them or did for them. And then it just starts creating a snowball effect and then things get worse from there. Imagine it like one of those memory movies that you make on your phone. When you take all of your pictures from the past year and you put them into a little movie, of course, when you go through your pictures and you pick out the ones that you want to put in your movie, of course you're not going to, you know, pick the any bad times or any times that weren't very great. You're going to pick all of the best of the best stuff, all the best events that happened that year. So with that said, think about this, you know, if we don't showcase the sad times in our memory movie, then why would we keep bringing them back up in our own memory? So I encourage you guys, don't memorize the pain. Instead, master your memory. Focus on the positives. And when you focus on the positives of life, you're just leaving yourself open for more blessings and more positivity in your life and more joy and happiness. So that is it. That's all I have for you guys today. Before I head out, of course, it is time for the individual's inner circle shout outs. So right here we have, first up, Sha or Shay or Sha. My apologies if I got that wrong, you guys. Next up we have Antonio, and last up we have Vishal or Vishal. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you constantly show me. If you dug this video, please give it a nice big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop new content, and I'll see you all very soon. My name is Dre Jaxler, Shaka Bra.